one's called a nutty pumpkin. What, I pushed this door down? Oh. <laughs> you thought I, I let out some gas? <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Nezzy. If you are new here and welcome to a new video. It is Thursday. I'm starting the vlog off late and it is around 2 2 20 maybe and it's hot I'm always starting off my vlogs like that, but it is it's really hot. My car says hundred degrees. It's But anyway guys, I just left the house. I am on my way to the post office and I have to go to Publix and to, I need to go to Ulta. I need a new brow pencil. I like Benefits brow pencil. So, and I have many different ones, but I like that one a lot. So I need to get that. And um, there was something else I had to do. Can't remember. It'll come to me though. But yeah, I got up this morning and I did so much in the house. I did the laundry. I organized all my shoes because the house is pretty much set up. However, these one I still have. We still haven't bought our dresser drawers. So I have a lot of space in my walk-in closet. So I use that space as far as well as my as well as the um, top part of my closet shelf in my beauty room so I put like a lot of t-shirts there and I organized all my shoes I have so many shoes guys but anyway yeah it was just a busy busy morning I had a little bit of oatmeal this morning I really didn't have much of an appetite and one banana and I was washing some clothes I I don't know if I said this before but I wash clothes on Monday and Thursdays only now and so when I started to doing my whites, well, no, let me backtrack a little bit. When I was organizing my um, clothes, I found this one bathing suit, brand spanking new, I never wore. In fact, I bought this bathing suit close to five years ago. It's a Michael Kors white, beautiful. I'm looking because I'm holding my camera because it's so hot and it's gonna overheat if I put it on top of the dashboard. But anyway, I bought that bathing suit when my girls and I went to DR and we were gonna all wear our white bathing suits for a picture we never did but we did take an all-white picture with an outfit on either a dress or shorts I think I had shorts on and a two top whatever so for some reason I guess because this bathing suit was in storage for so long it has a yellow stain in it it's never been worn and I know you're not supposed to bleach it, but I mixed bleach with some water and I rewashed it. And the stain disappeared a little, but you can still see it. So, um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with that bathing suit. I don't know if I should try to rewash it again with some bleach and water. I don't know. But what a waste. Such a beautiful bathing suit. So, yeah, I organized all my shoes. I organized all my t-shirts I still need the dresser drawer for oh and I also organized all my shorts all my dressy shorts and all my jean shorts but I still need a dresser drawer for all my body suits t-shirts tank tops etc and I can't find my bras for the life of me I only found maybe four bras I can't find any of my bras and I have a lot of bras I can't find them I don't know where they're at so Diesel has a few bags that he never un unpacked so I think either tonight or maybe the weekend he's gonna unpack to see if they're in there but I don't think they will be in his bag but then again maybe they would be because when we did our last minute packing to leave we were just throwing stuff in bags so who knows but I hope they, they appear I know when I'm not looking for them I'll find them um, so that's what's going on. I'm starving. Like I said, all I had was oatmeal this morning and I had um, a banana. I'm drinking water and I took a pack of these to eat right now. They're the Sargento's um, Wheat Thins with cheese. 
So I'm going to eat that. And I also want to go to um, Macy's or Marshall's. I want to get a comforter set. Well, not a comforter set. I just want to get a comforter because the one we have at home, it's like really dingy. We have a beautiful new set for the bed. But that's the type of... It's, it's, it's a bed spread. I don't think it's a comforter. It's by Martha Stewart. I bought it about three years ago. So these are when we get the house, we're going to use it so i really don't want to put that on because i just don't i want to put that like for the holidays hey guys so i just left the post office and it's funny because i did mention that there was another place i wanted to go did i mention macy's i didn't mention macy's right okay i did so september's my birthday month and so i got a Macy's happy birthday thing coupon so I'm definitely going to Macy's to see if I can get a comforter instead of going to home goods or um, Marshall's so it says surprise a gift just for you a promotional card of ten dollars and then and then 25% off I guess I'm sorry Uh, let me just answer this call. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Yeah. Yeah, I called you by accident. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No problem. All I right. was wondering. I was like, what? What's going on? No, no, no. I called you by accident. Okay. Tell me. All right, hon. All right, later. All right. Talk to you later. All right, hon. Later. Um. Sorry about that. So then I also got a happy birthday from Victoria's Secret. So, um, $10 off. But I came to the post office because I ordered something from Sephora. And I'm just going to open it really quick with you guys. I know what it is. And, um, really everybody's like texting me and, call and, and calling. Well, Na that was Nancy. That was an accident. I, I, I dialed her by accident. But, um... See if I can open this box. So far, really secured, and I gotta hurry up because I have to go to. Um, I also gotta get gas, guys. I gotta get gas. That's that's the another thing I have to do. What I ordered. <laughs> this is all over TikTok, and the girls have this too on YouTube, and I've been dying to. Well, I. I just wanted to get it. Let's, let's be real. Nezzy, be real with yourself. I just wanted to get it. It's the KLE. The Love Fest Burning Cherry. So I got this because I like Tom Ford. I don't love it. And I don't love it because the fragrance doesn't stay on me. There's certain perfumes that stay on me. But for some reason, most of Tom Ford's fragrances don't stay on me. I don't own any Tom Ford. The only thing I do own from Tom Ford is the um, glitter thing. I have that for years. I still have it. So, I remember one time going into the store. I don't know if it was Nordstrom. But um, I tried on Lost Cherry. Bitter Peach, I don't like. I don't like Bitter Peach at all. I mean, maybe because it's my body chemistry. And I love peach. But it just, I, don't, I didn't like it. And I even waited for it to dry. Mm -mm. And then Lost Cherry, I did like, but it didn't last on me. I don't own it again, but I did test it on me at, at a Sephora um, at International Plaza. And I sprayed enough. Why do I have these bumps on my arms? Hmm. Well, anyway, I, um, I tried it at Sephora and I put enough where it could stay on all day or all evening, whatever. It didn't last on me. So that's why I got this. So let's see. It is so pretty. Look at the packaging, guys. Well, I'm sure if you're on TikTok or on YouTube, you've seen this already. It's a pretty packaging. I didn't put no perfume on because I know this arrived at the post office, so this is what I want to spray on me. Wow, this is really nice. Oh my goodness, this smells really nice. You know what? I don't think... It smells like... Hold on. I don't know. 
if I could compare it to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. But I honestly, in my opinion, think this smells way better. It might have some comparison, but this smells so nice. Oh, it smells really, really nice. So it says, it's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it says burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guaki wood, and patchouli. That's what it says in the back. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. Well, you know what? Let's see. It's it's 2.55. Let me wait till the evening to stay if it stays on. And I'll let you guys know. But I really like this. So, yeah, guys. Let me get out of here. Oh, that smells so nice. My car needs a wash. I've been neglecting her. Unfortunately. But it rains here every day. Every day it rains here. Oh, I can't. All right, now. I'm going to pass BJ's first, so let me get what I have to get in BJ's. I have to get almond milk because now I do those overnight oats, so yeah. And these has really been liking them. Update on my diet, on my fitness pal. I've been doing really good. I haven't weighed myself yet. Let me hold this because every time I turn, the camera falls. I haven't weighed myself yet, but I feel good. I see my stomach um, going down. So I will weigh myself though. I'm gonna wait another week. I wanna wait two weeks. So in another week and I'll show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. All right guys, I'm gonna scan my fresh rewards. I just came out of BJ's. Here's my receipt. Let's see how many points I'm gonna get for this. Uh, let's see, fresh rewards. It is so hot. 100 degrees again, the car says. Oh. Okay, let's see. You gotta make sure you get the amount, the date, and the store before you hit submit. So it's like right there, date, store, and amount. And then you just hit this yellow thing after you take a picture of your receipt. And then Submit. Then the little dog starts running, and then it'll tell you how many points you got. Wow, 289. So, yeah. I think it was because of the um, air wick. Yeah, and the sentiment. Well, hmm. I don't know why I got 289. I think it was because of the air wick. So now I have 46,812 points. I'm waiting until I have a hundred thousand points to get a hundred dollar gift card yeah okay so let's see what's the next stop guys who remembers this song by Vesta Williams rest in peace Vesta oh my god what a throwback hey guys so it is five o'clock raining and diesel is throwing the garbage out where we used to live so i didn't have a chance to do that i had to rush back home he is getting in the car now it is storming so um we are on our way now to macy's you want to say hi to your peoples oh you talk are you talking i, mean, I, thought I you just got it I think he's talking to your cousin still. I don't know. I just hung on. Hi. <laughs> this is for later, so we'll hide this. <laughs> Nobody, they can't see that. <laughs> so, I had to rush home because Diesel ordered a pair of sneakers, which we, we're going to show in our um, yeah, I'll be doing that now. Our review. And Flight Club mailed it to our old address. So it was good that we came here. We have such a nice neighbor. He, he Thank was, God for Ricardo. yeah, he was nice enough Ricardo. to. He was nice enough to hold his package, and we came and picked it up, and we threw the garbage out. So now we are on our way to Macy's, and then I want to go to Best Buy to see if I, if I can get an external drive. And um, because your girl got ants in her pants, and she need to dance. Can't stay still. No, I'm hungry. 
But you still can't stay still, though. <laughs> yeah. So, Me too. I can't. I, what is this guy doing? I'm guilty. Yeah, what is he doing? He's doing some crazy time. I can't see. I don't know if I'm going to get hit or God forbid. You good. So, um... We just came out from where we live at. And like I told you guys, if you saw my last vlog, there's a middle school there. And about... And about 4 o'clock to 4.30, there's a line. So anyway, I had to get on my lane, on my left lane. I never take the left lane, but I wanted to take another way because there was so much traffic going towards the way we usually take. And at the last minute, I decided to go on my left lane. And I kind of cut into someone, in front of someone. She was pissed. I, it was... It, <laughs> It was either she or he. And I get it because when they do it to me, I get upset. So I, I'm sorry. It's just that. We had to go. We had to go. We really had to go. So. And we um, really not mean, mean people or do stuff on spike. Yeah, we don't do stuff like that. Stuff, yeah, so. we don't. I don't. Because like I said, I don't like that done to me. But she had her hand on her horn like if she fell asleep on it. I said, blow it out. Then this one over here, <laughs> there's a crossing guard that looks like Fred Merch from I Love Lucy. And he's always like, he looks grumpy. And you know, <laughs> this, uh, the school zone, you have to do 15 miles an hour. So I do less than 15 miles an hour. I, I just slow down because I know I got to stop. And he's like, doing like this. So then I just kept like inching up, but I was way far away from him. But I was just like, inching up like and he went like this <laughs> diesel goes back to him i said what are you I doing said, right back to you fred merce <laughs> what's it on uh, instagram instagram you know when that guy has always been in the gym go bruh <laughs> yeah. yo it's like it's one of those moments with him <laughs> bruh <laughs> Wait, he's talking about the gym. <laughs> talking about the gym. Tell him the story. I don't know if he said the story already about the guy that that he said something. He you probably did. It's just I, every time I hear him do this sto say the oh, story. Oh hell! There's a guy in the gym, a little short. You know, you know he has a Napoleon complex type guy. He's a, he was one of my my partner told me he was like a a colonel in the army. I'm like whatever. You know, he has a a, a condition. What do you call like like a like it's, a, it's, not, it's maybe a tick or like a, like a tick position. He goes. So one day, you know, he goes. You hear him on the gym. He goes, a who? You know, that's what he sounds just like that. A who? So one day, <laughs> so I'm on a bike. I'm riding, I'm riding my exercise bike. You know, I got this big. My big head. When I first, when I first start on, started the gym here in Florida, I had the real big uh, headphones. Headphones and stuff. <laughs> so you know, I'm doing my thing. It's almost like he walked by me, like looking around, like a who in my ear. <laughs> Jumped off the bike and ripped off. I said, "Man, you crazy!" I said, "Don't you ever even like do that coughing bit in front in my ear like that again. Otherwise, we gonna have a problem." So he's like, "That's all he did. He didn't say a word." He went. <laughs> he said it to me. It was so I could my tears were coming to my eyes. Because yeah, what it is, I demonstrated. So it's even more funny because it's like almost like mm -hmm, looking around like. Uh, who? <laughs> if he has a, a a problem, we're not making fun of them no, or anything like that. It's nothing no. like that. It's just, you know, with COVID going around, it sounds like this guy was like coughing right. and he didn't wear a mask, so that's why right. he got upset. That's why I got upset. So, you know, I said, I gotta see this guy. So all he kept he oh, he videotaped him one time. <laughs> he was like upstairs, but he could see him with his uh um with his uh, camera, phone. camera phone and <laughs> he was going a who a who I'm like it's a <laughs> just it's all in fun guys you know we never make fun of anybody condition yeah. but we, you know I mean I got things going on too so I'm sure people make fun of my you know my little skinny legs you know in college they used to call me 12 toes because I had bunions <laughs> 13 toes because I had a little small one on the end there. That's like, get y'all. What, what did Kevin call you? Your toe. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have flat feet. So most people that have flat feet, their toes curl, whatever like that, you know. So I just had, right before we, we moved down here, I had a procedure done where I had, I, what I had going on was, was um, hammer toes. So, right before I got the procedure done, my friend, my stupid friend Kevin, <laughs> he gonna look down at my feet talking about, 
Yeah, man, look at your feet, man. Look like they're having a menage a trois. Because they were like, almost like twisted. My feet was like this almost. I said, you got a lot of nerve, man. You had to get the same procedure yeah, the I got. same procedure. Yeah, yeah that's all he started that. cracking up. Mm. I said, oh, yeah, you say that now, but your feet are straight. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, guys, so we just stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Let me fix you guys up. Hold on. There we go. And I'm trying a new drink. I usually get the matcha, and last time I got the, um, I thought it was pumpkin matcha, but it's not. But this one is called a Nutty Pumpkin. What, I pushed the store down. Oh. <laughs> you thought I, I let out some gas? So I got the, um, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this has three pumpkin swirl, three hazelnut shot. No, let me repeat that. It has... Pumpkin swirl, hazelnut, sh a hazelnut shot, almond milk. I told her, oh yeah, almond milk. So anyway, let me try this. It's called the nutty, the nutty pumpkin. I love pumpkin. This is so good. Oh my God, this is better than the other one I had. Yeah. Do you want to taste? It's delicious. And he got two sour cream donuts. I'm trying to stay Are off the sugar. Are you blowing my spot? What? Hey guys, so we are back home. I just made us some. I just made us something quick to eat. I took out ground turkey, but I was gonna make meatballs, but I decided not to. So I invented something. I kind of. I made a taco salad, and I found these keto chips. They taste like Doritos, a little different, but they're made with almond flour. I got these at um, BJ. BJ's no Sam's. So Diesel took the taste test and he said, yeah, they could pass for Doritos, a healthier version. So this is my taco salad, let me show you. Just ground turkey, some cheese. I cut up some onions and green peppers and I sauteed that with the um, ground turkey. I just added some tomatoes and light sour cream and some shredded lettuce. And then I'm gonna add some of this to this and I still have my drink. Okay guys, so here is the duvet cover I got by Hotel Collection. It's a King Comforter duvet. I paid, um, let's see, here's the original price, $420. And I paid $192.23. And this is the down alternative. By Charter Club, hypoallergenic, polyester fiber fill. It's 100% cotton shell. It has the corner duvet tabs and it's machine washable. And it's a king size. And this was, well, this says regularly 200. And I paid, let me get the receipt. Here's what I paid 54.19. So let me put this together and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, here's the duvet that I just put on. It wasn't too bad to put on, but the duvet cover is really heavy. The comfort inside isn't, but I love it. It's beautiful. It's like a silver with gray. It's absolutely beautiful. And what I like about this is that it's oversized, so it covers, you know, like the regular comforter I had would like show half of the sheets, but I like the way that this, excuse my mess, this is laundry I just did, so I just folded some clothes, but it just, I love it. It goes down to where you can't really see the sheet. No, you can't see the sheet at all. So I absolutely love it. And I have on just gray sheets. And it's funny because I changed my sheets today and when we went to Macy's today, I found this duvet and I'm like, wow, it matches perfect. So, but I want to get the shams, but the shams were too expensive. But the lady was telling me, the lady, the sales associate at Macy said that um, the hotel collection goes on sale sometimes up to 65%. So she told me to go when there's a sale to keep checking my emails. And that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm going to get the shams and so I can match this. But right now the shams were like $80, I think she said. They were like a hundred and something. 
Yeah, I think she said 100 and something with the sale was 80. I refuse to pay $80 for shams. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. It's dark. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. It is 3.30. Diesel and I are back at the old apartment because the last thing we had to do was give our sofa. Or we had a sectional sofa, I believe, you guys. If you watch my vlogs, you know we had a large sectional sofa that we wanted to get rid of. We tried selling it on Craigslist and putting it, you know, word of mouth, and unfortunately, it wasn't sold. So, we called the Salvation Army to donate it and just figure, you know, we can get a tax write-off off of it. But, um, they were booked until September. This lease was up the end of this month, which is this coming Wednesday, I believe. So we found another place and the truck is right here. I don't think we have to come back here anymore. I think, yeah, Monday to meet with the landlord to give her back her keys. I'm happy we don't have to come back here anymore. And we checked the mail one last time and there was nothing in there. So from here, we're going to go to um, the mall, International Mall. We haven't been there in a while. And I want to go to Neiman Marcus because I want to smell this new perfume that I've been hearing about. I don't know the name of it. I know it's in a blue bottle. I'm just curious to see what it smells like. And Diesel's going to get some watches fixed. And then we're going to go out to eat. Not sure. I kind of want Cheesecake Factory. I've been doing really, really, really good with my diet. And so I still have a lot of calories left for the day. So I don't know. I'll look at the menu and see. I'm not going to deprive myself all the time. I will. I don't want to say I'm going to have a cheat day. Because I, I just don't want to say that. I want to have something that I can reward myself with. I mean, I still, I just started. It's been a week. I haven't weighed myself yet, but I will. So guys, I was thinking about doing something to my hair for my birthday. My birthday's next month. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to color it because I get so many compliments. I really like it. And like I said before, a lot of people, you know, pay to get this hair color. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know if I want to cut it. Like, I'm trying to let it grow a certain way for a certain hairstyle. But at the same time, I'm tired. Does that make sense? I'm tired. I want... I don't know if I want to relax it, which I don't think I am because my curls are just really nice i you know i i've i've dyed my hair in the past so many times i've relaxed my hair so many times and i got it back to a natural healthy state it took me years but it's healthy it's 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 it feels good i like the way it looks i like the way it feels well sometimes because because of the heat and because i think we have hard water in our house i think we have to get some kind of solution or whatever or some kind of treatment um, to soften the water up my hair is feels so dry and I use deep conditioners oils different products on my hair to make it look soft and manageable but I'm tired of the same curly look I don't know I like to straighten my hair sometimes as, as far as like blow drying it I don't know I don't know what to do what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below while I'm waiting for diesel I forgot I got an Amazon package I ordered this ankle bracelet this gold angle bracelet it was like ten dollars on amazon it got a lot of reviews a lot of good reviews and it got five stars or like maybe four and it looks pretty nice i hope it fits my ankle i think i'm a 10 inch but this is what it looks like i think i might order well you know what after i see this one i'm gonna um after I try this one on, if I like it and it doesn't turn, I, I don't think it turns because, like I said, it got five stars. Maybe I'll get another one to layer it. And then I just got another nippies, but I got the cocoa color, the nippies. I love these. I got these on right now. So, yeah. We just left International Mall and it poured like crazy. But wanted to show you the beautiful rainbow. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. But look at the rainbow, how beautiful. Hey y'all, I'm vlogging for myself. I forgot my camera, but these are just picked up another pair of sneakers. Look at him. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, no. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? My feet. 
good morning guys happy sunday so i'm about to go outside because it stormed last night and look what the rain did it tore up the mulch so i'm gonna go fix that up it's all around on that side as well so well tell them what you got before you bite it <laughs> So we just came out of which way? Okay, this oh, is cool. this is the um, ca uh, this is my cell. So sorry for the um, quality. The quality, thank you. So we just came from Portillo's, and I got a garden dog. Portillo's is um, a restaurant based, based out of Chicago. So they, and, and uh, those of you uh, know about Chicago, from Chicago, known for their Italian beef. Um, sandwiches is like basically like Philly cheesesteak with their style with the peppers and stuff is delicious. Uh, they're they're Chicago well known for that Chicago dogs as well. That's what I got a Chicago dog. And she has a, a dog too, but she has it plant based. Style. Plant based. This is what it looks like. Chicago style. And I put this in my um, I was gonna say PayPal, my Fitness Pal, and it's 320 calories. So I still have 770 calories left for the day. So let me try this. And of course, mine is delicious. When I saw when I first moved moved here, mm. I was like so excited because I you know I travel to Chicago a lot. I got family down there in history too. You know, be playing sports and stuff. So, and you're good food in Chicago, man. That's one of them, one of the main things. You know, so they got it. They got it here, and uh, every now and then, I, you know, it's a treat. I get a hot dog or the Italian beef sandwich. is very good. It's good. It, it, it's good. It's good. It tastes a lot of the pickle. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a hot dog to me. Okay. It has um relish, celery. relish, mustard, celery, pickle. onions, pickle, tomato. Delicious. It's good. Mm. Hey guys, so we're just back from Costco's. Just want to give you a Costco haul. And by the way, I got a free Costco bag. So this is really nice. So anyway, guys, here we go. So we got these Skinny Fusions um, pecan chocolate thingies. There's keto-friendly dark chocolate. It has hemp, MCT oil, no sugar added. It's caramel pecan. I said that already. So yeah, we got that. Got some bananas. Don't worry, they'll get ripe. We got some bacon crumble. Some more bread. We got these air wicks. We have so many of these, but these were on sale for 11 and change. So I got two. Mayo, some Heinz vinegar, more bounty. Got ribs for Labor Day weekend. We got ribeye steak. And Diesel's favorite, more pork chops. Got myself some Align Probiotic. I need this because, you know, it's supposed to be a little, you know, gassy and bloated. So I heard this is really good. So I got this for me. Diesel always gets this. He was out. So he got the lip, look, bleh. he got the liquid turmeric. It was on sale. This was on sale. And so was this. I got some Venus Sensitive Plus razors, disposable razors. The stuff I got from Target. So I got the Eco Tools bath cloth. I got two of them because I got the Olive Olay rinse off body conditioner. Got another native deodorant, but this time I got the jasmine and cedar scent. Another sugar free coffee made Italian sweet cream. Some light daisy sour cream. And I'm sorry, I don't know if I said this. This is from Costco's, um, the baby cucumbers. So yeah, so that's my haul, guys. Guys, I forgot to mention, I bought this. Um, micro needle derma roller. I haven't used it yet, but I heard a lot of good things about it. It had, I think, five stars, a five star review. So I can't wait to try this. I know you have to put this in alcohol and so forth and then use it on your face, but I'll let you guys know how this works out for me. Hey guys, just wanted to end the vlog. So we will see you in the next vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting on this video. Until the next one, be safe. Have a blessed week. Adios.